This is my daughter 2006 BMW. It's a 530i. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through this screen, this play right here. It's called the iDrive. And we're going to go through all the menus. And to control this iDrive, you have your button right here. You have the menu. If you hit this a couple of times, and I'm going to show you, it'll take you back to the menu. That's all. It'll, it'll take you back to this iDrive system right here. But you have this, I call it a mouse. You can move it to the left and just click over here, move it to the right, click here, or you can move it up or down. And you can push the button and that's your enter whenever you push the button. Okay, in the menu button, you hit it a couple of times, it'll take you back to the display. So, and also on that uh, iDrive system, you're going to have these buttons here on your steering wheel and you can select these buttons to do certain things like control your AC or you can use this button right here to control your uh, radio. But I'm going to zoom in on this screen right here and we're going to go through all the menus and all the settings and save this to your favorites. You're going to need it again because I know I always do. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to take you through the iDrive system right here. You know, you got five different settings. There in the middle, you got your iDrive. Then you got your communications there at the top. And to the left, you got climate. To the right, you got your car data. And down there at the bottom, you got entertainment. So first, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the left. And like I said, I show you the mouse down here, that rolling ball. You just click it one time to the right, I mean to the left. It's going to go to your climate. And there you have your vent settings. And what you can do, you can go down and you control your temperature. Like you see right here, I'm bringing it to warm. And if you're in the um, winter, you want to bring this to, to hot. If you're in the summer, just bring it to cool. And then it help you control your temperature better. Then you can go over here and you see that vent in front, you can have it to increase or decrease just by rolling your ball. And you set everything in the middle. Then you got the one there for your foot. And you can go up and get the one for the defrost there at the top. And you move your mouse to the right. Now you're on the passenger side. As you can see, you can roll the ball and control your vent speed. And you go down at the bottom. This is for the floor. You can roll it and control it. And then hit the menu button. You can go back or I'm going to just hit this up. Keep going up. That was the vent setting. Then I'm going to roll the ball. I'm going to go to automatic programming. So I'm going to hit enter. Now you can have it to high, medium, or low. That's to control your speed, the sensitivity of your speed and everything. And I'm going to go back up again, roll the ball, parked car operations. I'm going to hit enter. And this right here, you got your automatic ventilation. And I'm going to go through all of this, the activation time. I'm going to hit it. And you can have it to activate whenever, just different timings. So you can play with this and just see, I'm just going through the menus. And I don't know all the details about everything. I just want to show you what this display of this iDrive look like. So I'm going to go back up and see there you got the activation time and you got your automatic ventilation. And then I'm going to go hit the menu and go back. So we looked at the climate. Let's go up to the top and look at the communication. So now you can program your phones and contact numbers from your iPhone or whatever phone you use. and. I'm going to click phone, just see what it looked like. So you can go through and set that up. So I just wanted to show you guys that. You can go back up. I'm going to hit this BMW contact. I don't know what that is. I'm going to click it. Oh, okay. There it go. It got roadside assistance and it got service requests and customer relations. I'm going to go to uh, customer relations. I'm going to just click it. And I'm going to hit call. 
but you got to have your phone connected and set up. So I'm going to go back there to the top and I'm going to hit my menu button. So we went to the communications. So let's go down there to the bottom to entertainment. So I'm going to take my mouse and push it down. So you can entertainment, you can go to uh, FM, you can set up all your stations. You got your AM. That's your AM. Let me go back up. I don't know what the WB is. I'm going to click it. See? Maybe you guys know what it is. I guess you could set channels. Go back up. Your CD, if you got a CD player, which I got a CD right here, you can go in and set up everything on that. So I'm going to go back to my FM. And I got my stations set. You see station 197.9. I'm gonna see what it's playing. Start next week. Enroll now. Day and night okay, they're just talking right now. Um, I'm gonna go back up. So those are your presets, and then you can go to all stations. I'm gonna go back up, go to manual, and you can change it manually. So I'm gonna hit the menu and go back. So now Let's go to car data. I'm going to go to the right. Okay, you got car data. I'm going to scroll this. I'm going to, my onboard information. That's my information right on with my speed thermometer. That's the cluster up here by my steering wheel. So this is your onboard displays. So you can go through and change different things. Your distance to destination. Your, uh, your speed your miles per gallon consumption so you can you can set all that stuff let's set the speed I'm gonna click here and if you want to reset you just click it again it resets it so miles uh, per hour or miles per uh, consumption I'm gonna hit that I'm gonna reset that so this is where you can go and reset all your stuff just hit it and zero your destination out uh, your range that's your own board and your trip I'm gonna click on that and you can go let me go down here and so you can hit start stop this uh, setting up your trips and everything your limits and there's a lot of stuff on this thing stop watch I guess if you want to time yourself on how long it's going to take to get to a certain place. I'm going to go back. But that's all your car data. So I'm going to hit my menu and go back. So we done looked at this car data. We looked at entertainment, climate, and we looked at communications. Now, I like the iDrive. So you just push your enter button if you here on the front screen just push down on that roller enter button now you have all your displays here so if I want to turn this off I just scroll my button to display and hit enter it turns it off if I want to turn it back on hit enter again the next one is display settings so I'm gonna hit enter on that and there right there you can set your time so if I want to set time I just hit enter and I can scroll it and move it how I want and once I know what I want hit enter again and set my minutes and that's it and you can do your format time if I want 24 hours I just go over here hit 24 hours you see how that's set but we're gonna do the 12 hours and the hour menu, uh, memo I don't know what that is you guys probably know but I don't have it checked so I'm gonna go back up here so that's your time now you got your date I want to set my date same way I set my time just hit the enter button and go through and set your time um, your date and your brightness if you I'm gonna hit that your screen brightness so you can go down here you see I got it on real bright just roll it so that's how you adjust your screen brightness language we're gonna click on that English, 
French, Spanish, so mine's on English. I'm going to go back up. Units, uh, miles per gallon US, distance. Say if I want to change it, just click it. You can do kilometers per liters. So that's how you change all those settings right there. Uh, tire pressure, distance, temperature, if you want to go to Celsius to Fahrenheit to Celsius. Celsius, my tongue getting tired. You just scroll down, just click that, and just bring it up. Uh, and roll your dial, and there you go. So I'm going to change it back to Fahrenheit. And that's what you have on that. So we're going to hit the menu one time. Now we're going to go to entertainment settings. Click on that. This right here is your balance and fading, your bass and everything. Say for instance, I want my tremble. And you see I got everything set in the middle. Click up my balance fader. Uh, click. Then you got your speed volume. I don't know what that is. I guess the speed it takes once you turn it to activate, I guess. But you guys know, probably know a little bit more about that. Okay. And your reset. Say for instance, we got our speed. And say I changed everything. If I forgot my change and I want to reset everything, just go over here, reset, and hit the enter. It's going to reset to uh, to regular, to what it was at first, to the default settings. So you see it set everything to default settings. Okay, audio. Let's uh, let's go up there. So we're gonna hit the menu, vehicle settings. Now we're gonna go to vehicle settings. I'm gonna click on that. And you remember I show you those diamonds and stuff on the steering wheel. Say for instance the air circulation. If you want to turn it on and off, you could do it. If I click this, I can use my steering wheel and just set it to either the diamond or the star button but I don't want any of those if I want to mute turn mute on like my music I can use the steering wheel and I can use either the diamond or star to do that uh, monitor on and off as you saw me I turned my display on and off you can use the button on the steering wheel to do that if you check that you see I got mine set up for my phone list. I don't even have a phone connected. So the diamond and the star is for the phone list. So if I hit my star on my stern wheel, you see that? I'm going to hit the diamond. You don't see me hitting it, but I'm hitting it. The diamond. Take me back. Okay, the next entertainment source. And you can, like I said, this is for a stern wheel settings. But you can use the diamond to and the star to do different things you can set it up that way FTM flat tire monitor so you can just click on that only select tire pressures uh, whenever you reset and if you have a flat or something or your service engine or uh, your tire monitor light come on and you need to put some air this uh you go to this screen to reset it and I got a video on that I'll put the link below but that's your uh, flat tire monitor and it's active okay we're gonna go to the right your lighting we're gonna click that and see what that is it's a pathway lighting uh, it's something here in the system where you can set it up to say for instance you're going in your house and you need a light on you can set your pathway light on for 60 seconds 30 seconds or whatever and it'll automatically go off after that certain amount of time so we are just gonna click it and see so you can change it that one's at 60 seconds and I'm going to keep that. What's this? Uh, that's a triple turn signal. I can't even. Okay, there we go. Triple turn signal. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to just keep it checked. If you guys know, put it in the comments below. Uh, so that's your lighting. We're going to go to the right. Your door locks. You click on that you can hit unlock uh, button 
driver's uh, door only okay I'm gonna click that so if you hit the button once I'm gonna go back if you hit the button once it's just gonna unlock the driver side if you hit it twice it's gonna unlock the driver and uh, passenger side but I, I can activate this to where I hit it once it'll unlock all the doors so I don't want it like that I just want it to where I hit it once driver size open if I want to hit it again it'll open up the uh, passenger size last seat position so you can activate that and setting up your seats and everything okay relock door if not open let's just click that so you could click that relock door if not open if the door is not open you unlock it and it's not activated in a certain amount of time it'll you can relock it'll relock the door if you don't have this checked it's gonna keep it open all the time lock after driving this uh, if I click that once I take off driving it's gonna automatically lock the door if not it's not gonna do it so that's how you can activate and set everything up on that one okay that's central locking then confirmation let's click on that one and see what it is flash when locking so this right here if you say for instance you uh, you lock in your car you want it to flash and it'll let you know it's locked if you check this it won't do anything it'll lock but it won't show you it won't flash so also with the unlocking then you also have your beep sound so once I hit the lock you're gonna hear a little beep and when I hit the unlock you're gonna hear a little beep so if you're not hearing that it's probably because these are unchecked I like to hear mines when I click it or maybe you're in a garage or something and you don't want to hear all that loud noise you can uncheck these so that's the confirm uh, to confirm that your uh, car is locked or it's unlocked So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go back to the menu now service we're gonna go down to your service this let you know uh, like your oil is okay you can go up your brake fluid all these things are okay spark plugs everything uh, like the oil we're gonna click it engine oil and filter okay remain remaining distance of us so I have uh, 800 miles before I have to change it again it's a way to go through there and set that and uh, I think I got another video if you get your oil changed uh, how to reset it yeah, to zero then you got your brake fluid same thing it's okay next change is uh, November 2021 Now I make a, another video on how to go through and set these like the state inspection and that's easy you just go up to to whatever date set service date I click on it and I could change it right there okay emission inspection I guess it's the same as your state inspection vehicle check so okay I got 28,000 more miles before I get it checked again see above I'm trying to hold this down for like three or four seconds see will it activate anything it won't I think it's somewhere on the steering wheel where you have to do and go and reset all of that like I said I'll make another video on that later okay your front brake pads Says you got another 28,000 miles before you change it. Micro filters, 39,000 miles. That's your air filters and everything. Your rear brake pads, I'm not going to click on the spark plugs. Uh, let me just click on that. It says you got another 80,000 miles on your spark plugs. You're going to go up to status. If you want to check your oil level, just click on it. Your oil level is okay. 
so this right here shows me my oil level and if it gets low that's how you check your oil um, it'll show you your oil levels right there status go back up go to the top that's your service requirements Con uh, check control messages if you want to check your control messages like I know I have a little problem with one of my my right tail light and my right front parking lamp and that restraint system malfunction I cannot fix that restraint I've tried I got a video on that I took it to BMW they want to charge hundred and sixty dollars for diagnose diagnose diagnostic test and BMW they they're rip off. You know, their service department, man, they if I go and try to get that fixed, this restraint right here is probably gonna cost me a thousand dollars and it's probably something real simple. I'm gonna click on it and it gives you the information right there. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna click on my right tail lamp malfunction click on that and it tells you and I know what, what it is on this BMW and if I have to buy a new light it's nineteen hundred and eighty five dollars two thousand dollars for one headlight from BMW crazy we're gonna go up there so that's how you check your messages and that's really it on this um, I went through all the malfunction. I went through all the functions, so I'm gonna hit my menu again. So this is my front screen. So save this to your favorite. If you need to go back and look at different things, you can watch this video. And if I remember, I put some timestamps in here, so you can go straight to where you want to go to. If you want to go to the service or you want to know how to set the clock, you just go to that timestamp. All right. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.